people try to judge you because of that. Hi there, welcome. While I'm no longer in this season of my life, I am excited to share this throwback series and eventually get you up to speed. In today's vlog, I'm taking you on a journey to explore the vibrant streets of Bangkok's Chinatown and also try out cooking class. So let's dive right in. the background noise was super loud so you can hear what I was saying but it was a bit difficult finding the hair products that I needed so my scalp was suffering so you'll see me wear a lot of scarves just to kind of keep my hair protected and also the products that I did bring for some reason were no longer working for my hair when I was down here all right enough of my personal dilemma let's get back to the vlog right now the time is maybe five ish and so maybe around this time is the best time to come and get food I want to learn how to make some some um, traditional Thai food. And I found some options online, so I'm gonna check it out and try to book something so I can experience it, you know? So when I do go back to America, I can cook all these little things, right? But I, I can cook though, so don't be coming for me. Yes. Let me know in the comments below if you remember this place that I'm about to show you, okay? Because if you know, you know. There we are. The last time I came, it had all these green in it. The water was going. Maybe it's out of season. I'm so sad that, I, um, that I'm leaving Thailand soon. In about two weeks. <sighs> I'm so sad. Hey y'all. So this place is actually um, the place that I came to last year when I did my solo trip to Thailand for about two weeks. If you remember this place, you know. This is where I met the old man and we kind of just um, talked and then led me to another path, to another path, to another path. And I just end up, like my journey just ended up being amazing. At the moment, I'm just chilling. Well, what is this cat doing? You <laughs> Your little balls hanging out. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. But um, it's just the day, it's a beautiful day out here. Um, my feet is hurting. <laughs> I just want to quickly say thank you for those who do watch my videos. You guys are really amazing. Um, you know, because I did create this channel because I want to reflect back on my life and see where I can grow, where I've grown, and most importantly, to inspire people to follow the path that God is directing them to be. Um, many times we don't understand. There's times that I really don't understand what I'm doing, why I'm here still, and people try to judge you because of that. Um, just keep trusting God. It doesn't have to make sense to nobody. So my feet was hurt. My legs is hurting. If you feel that God is putting you on a, on a certain journey, it doesn't have to be anything like mine. It could be totally different, you know. Um, whether it's in your relationships, um, whether it's in your jobs, whether it's in yourself, or whatever it may be. Um, just trust it. Do not let people dictate your journey with Christ just because it doesn't make sense to them or it does not look like their journey. Um, because at the end of the day, everyone has a different calling in their life that not everyone's going to understand. Me, myself, I don't even understand my calling fully. I mean, I see the big picture, but I don't know how these small things add up. But I'm still trusting God. And I wanted to share this part because um, I've had people tell me things like, Oh, well, uh, are you sure you're even on a spiritual journey? Maybe you just wanted to 
escape reality for a little bit or maybe you just want to just move there on your own or maybe you're hearing voices i've heard it all it could be discouraging but you just have to let it go one ear out the other especially if you're confident in what god is telling you and you see his hands moving in your journey you know um because people do mean well sometimes but it's just that you can't please everybody. You have a purpose in this life. No matter how big or small it is, it's important. And look at this cat just passing by. So don't get discouraged, okay? Now let's keep going, because I've been talking for a while. from across from this and then there's water for just 10 baht so oh and this is only um 40 baht super cheap oh yeah that was the best pad thai i ever had i'm happy now i'm gonna go home good afternoon y'all um as always, I'm running late. Uh, I'm supposed to go to the Thai cooking class today at 1.15. It is 1.04 and I don't know if we're going to make it because they are going to go on a market tour. I don't know where they're going to be at, at the time I get there. So, fingers crossed. Um, I, don't, I don't know why I do this to myself. But yeah, so hopefully you guys get to see that and experience that with me. Um, so let's just go and see what happens, okay? I finally made it to Soy Sukhumvits and the name of the place is called Bangkok Thai Cooking Academy and as you see I came late. I was about 10 minutes late and they had already went to the market and rather than go to the market I decided just to stay here because I didn't want to get lost trying to find everyone so it'd be best if I stayed here. As you can see, this is what it looks like when you get inside. They've already kind of pre-prepared the food. I thought it was going to be more of 
make everything from scratch, which is fine because it was still a good experience. chicken and we have pad thai and tom yum soup all right are you ready yes we got everything here i didn't really record behind the scenes in terms of us we were cooking but this is what the food turned out to be like you got to pick your own menu like they had a menu and you picked the items that you wanted to cook and i had the sweet and sour chicken soup pad thai of course penang curry and then tom yum soup and then of course the sticky rice with mango everything was so delicious when i tell you delicious yeah i'm about to start my own restaurant jokes jokes but no it was really good and as you can see here is a display of everything again what is your favorite thing to cook or what is your favorite thai food to eat let me know in the comments below